Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first video on our channel. Today, I'm joined, of course, by P Dog Wolf, who you are seeing the perspective of right now. Hello. So, uh, say hello. Hello, hello. And uh, in case you didn't know, he is our co-head builder alongside with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm basically the perfectionist that just complains a lot. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everyone so today... pretty much hates me. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. So, um, in today's video, we're going to be uh, building a medieval barn, you could say. Okay. And so... um, this is going to be our our palette, as you can see. We have a uh, the the basic medieval choices. You know, wool, some woods. Hey, of course, because it's a barn, and the the basic stone bricks and all that. Okay, so are you ready? Uh, I, I'm ready. Are, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be, I okay, guess. Okay, so um, <laughs> what do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the uh, laying an outline? Um, if you want, I can start building the foundation for everything. So Sure, sure. I'll, I'll start doing like terraforming and such. Okay, so where do you want to start with it exactly? Well, here, let's start with the stone, actually. Here, stone bricks Okay. for the base. So let's put one... I don't like building with even numbers, because they're just a pain. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah. That's, that's a, a tip right there. Don't <laughs> build with even numbers at all. You'll regret it. You will hate your life if you do. Trust me. Yes. But, <laughs> um, let's see. Then we can put some more blocks right there. Go in one. That's an even number. What am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Um, this is probably the hardest part of the build, is just getting the foundation right, because if you get the foundation yeah. wrong, then you've pretty much messed up the entire build. Yeah. Okay. You want to make sure that you get the shape right and everything, because <laughs> if you mess that up, the whole build is going to be thrown off. Okay. I don't want to go outside of our limits, but I feel like we kind of need to a bit. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I can do that. Never mind. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, and, and we'll just get rid of the, the wool when we're done. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I just need to break that block right there. Okay, so what do you want to talk about? Um, I actually have a, a list right here of things that I thought would be good to talk about since it's our first video, video and all. And um, well, I uh, came very prepared. To, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I think it'd be wise to you know let the people know who we are as a team and all that. So um, first thing I, I have written down is the origins of our team. Now, you actually know more about this than I do because I actually came on later on when the team was first starting. Well, so, technically, it was before the team. You were the one that basically founded the team. Before, it was just mm -hmm. a server called Figment Craft in which basically I started off. It was an entire Disney-themed server, and basically everything was built by me. We had our first team member come in. Her name is Generic Unicorn. And she was basically our very first builder, and right after I actually got her to join the server, Nathan came on, and we had just closed up the actual auditions in order to join the server and everything, and he was really bummed out because of it, but I told him that I'd make an exception, and I'd let him try out, and of course he did, and Nathan, how did I react to your build? <laughs> Well, first you have to understand that I came on not expecting to be accepted as a builder at all, and I was just kind of like needy and begging to be builder. And stuff. <laughs> um, but he asked me to do a uh, an audition piece on the spot on their plot world, and so I built um, my specialty, which is trains, and I built a. But now that I look back on it, it was a pretty crappy looking train. <laughs> but, it, um... it was by the time I loved it. It was mm -hmm. way better than most people. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I built that, and he, I want to say he reacted really positively. Um, <laughs> and to put it I nicely. pretty much got onto the team uh, that day. Mm -hmm. My and... reaction was more of, what? Like, I was, in, <laughs> I was dumbfounded because I thought I'd just hit the jackpot finding the perfect builder. So <laughs> that, that was my honest reaction. I'm not even joking about that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. You, you uh, never knew that? I thought I, I didn't. told you that. <laughs> no. Oh, we're learning things with Nathan and uh, Pete Golf. Wow, this is brand new. Okay, so um, little side note, I'm actually going to be using World Edit to get a big uh, basic tree that uh, into this build. Now, normally mm -hmm. for a build like this, if it's um, a normal creative build, you'd build a custom tree. But since it's so small and uh, it doesn't really matter since we're never going to really use it again, yeah. I figure I can just use this. Mm -hmm. You always want to use custom trees if you're making, like, actual maps, but for this purpose, we don't really need it. Yeah. Okay, so, about more of the origins, who else, who's the next person after you join the team? Cause oh, gosh. Um, 
I can't remember if it was yeah. King or if it I was. I think it was King. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. um we had a member named it was like King three twenty one. I want to say. I thought it was like three one two or something, but you're probably something right. like yeah. that. Yeah. But um, he was he came on as an admin originally mm-hmm. on the server, but um he he build uh, little things you know, and uh, he's not on the team anymore unfortunately, but he mm-hmm. was a uh, he was a nice guy. Yeah, he was a nice guy, and then after that, we had the lone husky, which he never really built anything, per se, he was more of just an admin, but he's mm-hmm. definitely one of our friends. We we really need to talk to him, we haven't talked to him in a while, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and he actually did do quite a few builds during a certain stage of our server when we were doing this GTA kind of phase. Yeah. We, that we kind of don't really talk about because we regret it. Yeah. <laughs> but, that, um, that was my idea, trying to get away from Disney, and then right after that, I rebuilt Disney. and Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we got sick of it and went straight back to our roots. <laughs> but then, um, gosh, I want to say summer last year, you put Figment Craft mm-hmm. on hiatus for a while. Yeah, it was right after June it ended, like the very last day in June. That yeah. was when I shut it all completely down, pretty much. Yeah, we we thought for sure that we were basically just shutting down the server for mm-hmm. an extended period of time just to recoup and get our get our ideas together, and so we knew what we were doing basically, and not being complete idiots with what we were uh, constructing mm-hmm. as a server. And so, so as, as time went on, um, I remember this project that I was doing uh, for a, I think it was a one in the chamber map. If you don't know, yeah. that's a game where you have mm-hmm. one arrow and um, everything is one shot kills, and every time you get a kill, you get another arrow. It's um, like what is it? What, what game was um, that originally from? I'm trying to remember. I I know that in the comments they're all going to be yelling at us probably, but <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> moving along, if you know yeah. what it is, please don't hate us. Please. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it seems like you're doing most of the work, and I'm just uh, blabbing. But uh, pretty much. Kind of how it is, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Actually, it's normally the other way around. Normally, I'm the one blabbering on about how I hate something. But complaining, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technical difficulty there. You probably saw a bit of a jump cut, but uh, we're back and we're building again. So, um, returning to what we were talking about. Okay. What were we talking about? Uh, we were talking, I think, about your your role as a builder, I believe. Oh yeah, basically guys, um, I am known as a perfectionist, and before I go off sounding like I'm evil or like everyone hates me or whatever, basically what my job is, is I come in and I just complain, Not, I can't really say this in a nice way, can you say it in a nicer way, Nathan? You, you tell us things... Although a normal person wouldn't realize them, there are flaws that we don't necessarily notice, and you tell us them so that in in the future we both learn from them as well as we fix them in whatever uh, situation it is. Yeah, just as an example, um, one time, well actually on the current map that we're building right now, Mesa Valley 2, I moved an entire building one block to the right because I simply did not like the placement of it. Mm Mm-hmm. I have gone to extreme lengths just to perfect it, so uh, that's yeah. yeah, that's sort of an indication on how extreme I kind of am with that sort of stuff. I'll rebuild something entirely just to get it perfect. No, I have so. to work with this guy like every day, just to <laughs> let you know. But, um, moving along. <laughs> this is what you get if you join our build team, just, yeah. j- just warn you yeah. up front. <laughs> um, so then, uh, for example, like I... Uh, I'm, I'm the head builder and such, but that necessarily doesn't mean that I build less than any other builders. It doesn't really show in this video. But um, yeah, because you kind of are building less than me. But hey, yeah. hey everything's but, okay. um, <laughs> Usually, I'm like heading all the builds and such that are projects that are like big team projects. But then <laughs> other members can also head their own projects, so that like, say, you you P double if you're heading a, a certain project right now on <laughs> your own, independent of. Uh, myself or others. Yeah, and I don't want to reveal that just yet, but yeah, yeah I, I am working on a project, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you're watching my custom PC series, you I've probably already spoiled it, actually. I can't remember if I've mentioned it or not, but... Well, go to his channel <laughs> and watch it if you haven't already. Yeah. It's really fun. <laughs> okay. Um, so. But moving along, like, say there's, like, Jess Panda over here in his cage, who I'm going to ignore, so... <laughs> But um, yeah, don't question the cage, everybody. He he's an animal. He needs it. Um, but so he's like uh, our redstone genius, and we we call on him whenever we need like redstone done for anything really. And um, 
you know, we all have our roles and such, and we, we use them appropriately, and he is running away. <laughs> well, that's the usual for him, so we're not going to question mm -hmm, Yeah. Um, so, a little, little question for you. Mm -hmm. How did you originally get into building in Minecraft? Um, building in Minecraft, originally, I was actually playing on the Xbox version. Before that, I'm... Traitor. <laughs> I'm going to admit right up front that originally when I first saw the game until about beta 1.3, I'd like to say, mm -hmm. I was totally on the bandwagon of Minecraft is lame, all that stuff. Like I never, But I was introduced to it wrong because whenever my friend would play it, he was the sort of person who he would always play and I'd just be sitting there watching. So I wasn't necessarily partaking in the entire building experience. Mm -hmm. So You weren't really experiencing it the way Yeah, I wasn't experiencing it the way I could. Like, mm -hmm. basically the way you should experience it. But then, mm -hmm. um, ooh, what's that? Why is that missing texture? That's weird. But um, That is the magic of texture packs. We're running um, John Smith in case anybody's wondering and want to uh, use this texture mm -hmm. pack in your own world. And I just realized I'm building the roof wrong. Also, this is what happens when you talk and build. But <laughs> I, was, I, was thinking, I was thinking maybe you were doing some interesting design that I didn't know about. Yeah, no, that was purely a mistake. But <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. basically, I. But then uh, I originally played on Xbox before I even got a PC or anything. And me mm -hmm. and my friends one day we saw that Minecraft had an Xbox edition, and I thought, what the heck? I'll pick it up. I've played before. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's any fun or anything. Mainly, I bought it honestly to rip on it, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. But um, whenever I started playing, I just fell in love with the game instantly in survival. And I told my friends all to pick it up, and we played on that for a good while. And then once all my friends stopped playing it, I was still addicted to it. And I wanted <laughs> the things I was... You caught the bug. Yeah. <laughs> I caught the bug, you could say. And I really wanted to share my buildings, which is why I never really got motivated to build anything big. Because anytime I'd build on the Xbox edition, I thought, well, no one's ever going to see this. Why should I try? So then I got onto PC. I fell in love with the community. And then that's when I started building my server. And that main street for Figment Craft was actually my very first big build. And that's oh, pretty wow. much what got everything started. <laughs> Um, in case uh, any of you are wondering, um, I think we actually have videos of it on your uh, uh, on your channel. Yeah, um, all the way the, back. He, really we created Main Street from Disneyland uh, on our server, and it was really cool. It was like um, a one to almost one to one creation. There were some liberties that were taken because it was a server hub at the same time, mm -hmm. but um, it was really awesome. It was his first, like he said, his first like big build, and it was amazing for his first big build. Yeah, and it took me and, just uh, one week. I built the entire thing in one week. Um, Which was crazy, I think. <laughs> it was a school week, so I may have missed a few things to say. Let's not get into details, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... But I built it all up in one week, and I actually got the entire server running and everything within the first... I think it was like two days after I had finished the hub, I had already built like enough mini games to open up the server. Wow. They weren't good by any means. That. All the maps were horrible, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was proud enough of Main Street to open it up, so. Mm -hmm. It was presentable. Yeah, it was presentable enough where I could at least get a few people hooked in, hopefully, long enough in order to find someone like you who could really help expand it. So. <laughs> um, to answer my own question, just so it feels fair, yeah. um, I got into building through watching, um, this is going to sound so cliche, but through watching YouTubers and such. I mean, mainly one of them being Stacy Plays, who we now work with. Um, oddly enough, she stays here for watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you, you weren't the one who got me in the building. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I got into Minecraft and the such through YouTubers and such. Um, and I had never, like you, I had never really considered Minecraft something that I would enjoy or play. Mainly because it was always seen like, oh, it's it's Minecraft. That's what everybody else is playing. I'm never gonna play it. Are are you really yeah. building onto Jaws? Are you really building onto his little hut, basically? I, I'm always, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Look at this. <laughs> it's not him anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. When did he do that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh my gosh. He totally got us. Okay. okay, that's amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna Props just to him. Back up and um, act like I didn't see anything. And you can see, this is why we have him on the build team, but continue your story. Continue, please. Yeah. Um, and so I remember I was sick when I got Minecraft, and I was laying in bed, and the first world I made was 
a super flat and it was in normal mode so tons of mobs were spawning and i didn't know how to disable that and so i built this house and i was like oh now all these mobs are going to attack me um and so i built a giant lava moat around the entire thing <laughs> but then i realized how am i going to get in now so I built a bridge that was really terrible. It was a switch with two pistons, and it came up out of the lava. And um, it was just so amazing to me because it was the first thing I'd ever built. And it, I felt like I was so accomplished and like I had conquered Minecraft in its entirety. Um, but then I felt so proud of my abilities, I applied for Figment Craft because I was stupid. Um, <laughs> you weren't completely but... stupid. You could build trains really well. That was... Oop, just oh. something. Oh, thank thank you. you for breaking all um, my builds, just like all. I know, I try, I try. <laughs> Um, but then it ended up turning into the Walshers build team eventually. Um, more on the, the forming of the team, uh, Mesa Valley 1, the project that was originally just going to be my last project associated with Figment Craft team, um, it ended up being something bigger than I expected, and I actually pursued working with the Figment Craft team longer than that. And um, I ended up releasing well most of mesa valley was done ex exclusively by me mm -hmm. and then towards the end i contacted uh, all the original staff well most of the original mm -hmm. staff who were builders and it was like can you help me with this and then those people i think it was three of you including p dog wolf and casey um came on board as the original build team who that was at the time nameless yeah and then uh, after a few months i came up with the name wall shirts which is uh, go to our website to find out what it means. <laughs> plugs, plugs. I'm telling you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and don't feel and, bad, guys, and... if you don't know how to pronounce that. The first time I saw, it, I was like, "What?" It it, it looks yeah, Greek to me, it's... to be honest. <laughs> it's um, it's a, a Belgian name, and it's the name of an inventor who invented a certain thing. Who go to our website to find out? <laughs> <laughs> totally not advertising. But, uh, yeah. Totally not advertising. I know, right? But, um, you know, you know, it was uh, a spur of the moment kind of deal. I, I didn't really intend for it to turn into an entire thing that we'd pursue as a group, but it did. And I'm glad it, I'm glad that it did, because now we're, we have the opportunity to work with people that I never expected we'd even be able to talk to. I know. So. It, it's really been insane. And I honestly, it, it's going to sound so bad from my point of view, but I'm honestly so glad that I actually discontinued the Wall Shirts build team. I mean, not the Wall Shirts build team. Wow, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording this late at night. If you guys haven't known, so not really thinking straight. But um, that I discontinued Figment Craft because if I had never done that, then we would have never built Mesa Valley. We would have never done any of this. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a, a bittersweet when it happened, but I'm kind. Of, I'm honestly glad that it did happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, we've lost some members and gained others who are awesome. But uh, it's been a, a, an awesome ride so far, and I hope it keeps on going. Yeah, it's going to be really fun. I mean, we've already gotten to work with Stacy Plays. I mean, who knows where we're going to go next? I mean, Captain Sparkles just recently played one of our maps. Yeah, But yeah. it was one we weren't too proud of currently, but hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering, it was the original Mesa Valley <laughs> that he played. And um, currently with our new, I want to say, level of attention to detail and yeah. such, because you have to remember, I built that map entirely on my own, so I was cramming a lot of the time, and so I didn't necessarily get to put in as much detail as I would have wanted to into the certain Yeah, and, I, and so, trust me, guys, I was um, complaining the entire time, but... He yes, never were, really yeah. changed anything. <laughs> Just saying. Mm -mm, cause I was too lazy to, <laughs> but uh, I regret it now. Cause Captain Sparkles played. <laughs> um, but in, in our in the future, our maps will be much better than anything we've released so far. Mm -hmm. um, ex expect amazing things coming from. Yeah, us. Christmas Catastrophe was actually the first map that I really worked on, and I'm honestly I'm still not sort of proud of it. But it was the first one I worked on, and my attention to detail on that, that was my first time that I really got to show that. Yeah. I built an entire, like, yeah, outside was, was forest, river, and everything, just in case we looked out of one little piece of glass, so... <laughs> and a little side note, that map was maybe built in about two weeks' time? Yeah, you built the original about? map in, like, two weeks' time, then you hand it over to me, and it took me about three weeks of changing yeah. around. So it was about, it was a month-long yeah. project, mm -hmm. about, basically. And um, yeah, I think for a project that we spent not that much time on, it turned out turned out relatively well because mm -hmm. we didn't have that much time to uh, plan it all out and such because mm -hmm. Christmas was just around and the corner. And that was also before we got Josh and everyone. And now that we have our official Redstone Builder, you guys 
you're just going to be amazed by the stuff he can do. If you guys have been watching Stacey's series, you already know what he can do. So, yeah. yeah. He, he does amazing things. Props to you, Josh, if you're watching. He's probably going to, uh, and he's probably going to gain, like, one more sub. But <laughs> to his channel that he doesn't even upload videos on. Uh, one day. One day. <laughs> one day, one day. One day, one day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, really have to quote your last name. Oh. I do, you know, it's so convenient to have uh, a, a, a name yeah. related to that, that <laughs> phrase, because then I can just say, you know, one day, one day, uh, you know, it, it was uh, uh, interesting to learn that and use it in my username. Now, um, as I'd say you are, you're a pretty senior builder, to me at least, um, uh, he's been building longer than I have. Uh, I, I built in another sandbox game called uh, Little Big Planet prior to Minecraft, and that's I'd say where I honed my sandbox game skills. That's a little um, too long. There. That's better. <laughs> uh, props to anybody who plays that. You're amazing. <laughs> I don't play it. What does that mean about me? Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, uh, as Again, as a senior builder to me, what do you think are tips for people who are like aspiring builders? Um, like if... I came to you before I auditioned, what would you have told Okay, me? first off, I'm not going to be building Green Spark because I need to think very straight on this. Um, this is actually a really yeah, hard question because everyone has their own building style. Everyone thinks different things look good. Um, I'd really have to say that the number one thing is trust your gut and do not ever Absolutely. build in squares. Minecraft is made out of squares, and I know it sounds so weird for me to say don't build in squares, but truthfully, if you build something that's all based around squares, it's not going to turn out nearly as well. as yeah. Like, yeah. you always want to have indentions, always basically think outside of the box is what, that is how I could. Uh -huh. outside yes, the box. yes, another pun that I didn't even intend to be a pun, Very but funny. Funny. thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, do you want to continue on this conversation? <laughs> Yes, yes. Continue on. Um, continue on. Well, I don't know what topic. You have an entire list there. Come on, Buzz. Oh, oh, you're, you're, oh, oh, you're, you're oh. finished. <laughs> so, uh... so I could go on and on, but then again, I just watch you build and yell at you a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I, I don't um, think anyone wants to watch that unless you like Gordon Ramsay, in which I'm basically out of Minecraft. <laughs> uh, maybe, we'll maybe, maybe we'll have to make that another series on the channel. <laughs> Sometime where you, where you where you yell at builders who are doing. Oh, trust like, me, I can go uh, all day about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could come over here for yep. a second, a um, uh, little tip for builders: is this reasonable randomization? It's do you think? reasonable, but still, I, the problem is this texture pack. You can't really be random. I'd say for this texture pack, this is definitely random enough. To at least, well, it's a little too evenly random. I'd. How about you give insight into <laughs> people who are noobs at building what randomization um, is Basically, exactly? randomization is instead of making this entire wall right here pure white or making everything like one sort of block, you want to mix it up. So the best sort of thing... Whoa, what? whoa. <laughs> Jazz Panda's, Jazz Panda's a panda again. Wait, what? <laughs> He's back He's back well, he always changes. Who knows? <laughs> but um, uh. basically, the outside right here would be the best example of it just using mossy cobblestone in... Uh, yeah, yeah. take advantage of yes, blocks. Yes, always take advantage of blocks that look similar, even if they're not, like, super similar. Like, using different wood types, that would also be something I don't honestly use on this build. If we weren't using this texture pack, mm -hmm. like, a lot of the wood looks mm -hmm. very different. But in regular Minecraft and stuff, like, I'd even mix woods, mix building materials. Basically, like, right here, this wall, this is what most people do. Remember? Most people in Minecraft, I'm sorry to say this, but most people in Minecraft don't really build that well. I mean, it's a fact. Like, yes. the, if everyone built well in Minecraft, then you'd never have people who you can look up to. Who yeah, you'd never have builders. Everyone would be perfect, and unfortunately, that's not how society works. I'm not saying we're perfect by any means, because, no, we still have a lot. We're still learning. Yeah, we're still learning every day. We're learning more and more stuff to add. We're constantly watching other people's builds, learning more. I mean, mm -hmm. but um, that's just a general rule of thumb, more like, yeah. is... Yeah. Um, Oh, that's another thing I could add, actually. Never stop learning, never stop looking things up. Oh, yeah. Even oh, yeah. if you think you're the best, even if you're the number one builder on whatever rating scale you're using, I don't even know if they have a number one builder, to be honest. Do you know? But <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't really rate that, but if you honestly think you're the best builder in Minecraft, 
you're not. You're never going. There's always someone better. Than always you. have that mindset, even if you truly were. You're not. Always have that mindset because yeah. the second you start thinking that you are the best you can be, that's the second you're going to start slacking. That's the second you're going to start cutting corners, and everything's going to go downhill from there. So never get that mindset of being the best. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> Um, little tip for all you 1.8 builders, we have new doors and fences. Um, use those doors and fences because, like, for example, here I'm using the new doors as shutters on this window, and it looks great. And um, just, just take advantage of any blocks that you have in your creative inventory or if you're playing in survival craft, mm -hmm. whatever you can because you'll be able to use it at one point. Yeah, remember that just because something says door or something says window, don't ever think that that's as far as that idea can go. There are about a million different ways I can think of of using a door like this. It could bar, it could be used as boarding on so many things. You could flip it sideways mm -hmm. if you know how to use command blocks, make it sort of a falling piece of rubble. Like, just use your imagination. Anything's possible, except, especially with 1.8. I mean, we can now do pretty much anything in Minecraft. I've seen people making full-on RC helicopters that can drop bombs and stuff in 1.8. It's... It's absolutely amazing. There's literally no limit anymore to Minecraft, and if you can think it, most likely you can either do it or you're going to break the game in the process, like Jess Panda here. <laughs> On multiple occasions, he has broken the yeah. server. I love you. Oh, he's missing again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes, he has broken the server. Yeah. Too. On more than one occasion, uh, but we don't mention that. <laughs> more than one. No, no, that, that, that's unspoken of. <laughs> um. But going back to my original question of uh, tips for aspiring builders, um, you know, like like uh, P Dog Wolf said, you know, keep just keep building, keep practicing. Never uh, let people's other other people's opinions necessarily tear you down. Like um, if someone tells you you're not a good enough builder, and this applies mm -hmm. to anything else too, you you need to find find your strong point in whatever you're doing, and make sure that you hone your skills in that area and. Make sure that you're the best that you can personally be, and not not use other people's standards as your uh, as your point of reference. Okay, and while I'm sorry I have to cut you off here, but this is another example of something I like to do. At least in medieval building stuff, don't always think mm -hmm. things have to be even. Like right here, this wall, I have this sticking up right here. It's not centered. It's an even wall. To most people, that would be seen as ugly. Would be seen as a horrible thing to do. But you can make mm -hmm. it work. Anything works, and in medieval yes, buildings especially, at least during the time frame we're going for, a lot of buildings weren't symmetrical. A lot of buildings had these weird sort of sure. angles. I heard you start talking, no. and I'm like, oh, I should be quiet, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Skype. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're using Skype yeah. right now, by the way. So there's, there's some yeah. awkwardness. Um, Hopefully that'll be fixed in the near future. Future, yeah, yeah. Future. future. I can. You I can, can English? English? Wow, uh, I can't. It, it's a hard. It's a hard thing to do. <laughs> um, um, but, but but yeah, never never stop practicing. Never stop learning. Uh, always hone your skills, even if, like you said, you think you're amazing at building. There's always something that you can learn and uh, achieve better. And um, like for instance, I only recently learned like the the upsides to doing like good detailing on your buildings. Um, namely, one of our builders who is newer, um, Wazar. Shout out to you, whoever you <laughs> whoever are. You are. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, because uh, we, we don't really uh, associate uh, real uh, real life situations on our build team. If you want to keep yeah. it private, then it's private. Um, uh, he really like made detailing shine in my eyes because I had always gone for basic like crisp but not over detailed looking builds that were like oh, okay that's a build yeah. you know it works but um he he changed my opinion on that and i'm really into detailing builds now because there are so many blocks you can use and amazing things you can do if you just i just realized that. that we did something that i hate on this build without me even knowing i built a completely straight wall <laughs> well oh. Yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. Uh, unless you, unless the style mm -hmm. kind of calls for it, like say, uh, like Western, like that's a style that needs straight. Or a modern building is also another one. More mm -hmm. modern, yeah. Um, try and keep your walls. This is a commonly used term among builders. Uh, try and keep things mm -hmm. organic. Um, that or organic refers to a, a type of build as well, where it's something that's like a living creature or um, like a, a tree or something like that or an animal or a person. Those are all mm -hmm. considered organics. 
but um, when it's applying to a building, you want to keep the building flowing and curving, but still looking like it's uh, something doable, you know, unless you're doing like fantasy. Like yeah. crazy. <laughs> um, we were actually talking about that right before. He actually showed me one of his medieval builds, and I'm more of the realism kind of guy when it comes to Minecraft. And so I looked at it and I was like, uh, too fancy for me, but you know, in the end, um, if that's what you're going for, go right ahead. People are not going to like it. No one's going to like everything you build. Okay, so we're back again. You probably saw <laughs> a cut again. Um, something happened uh, in real life with one of us, and that's totally fine. Uh, of course, real life always takes priority in these kinds of things. But um, So I think that this episode is actually almost done, Peter Wolf. Yep, this episode of it, we're going to probably make it a two or three part, depending on yeah. how long everything's going to go. But um, this has actually been really fun. I'm glad we got to do this. Yeah, I've learned a lot, actually, about you. We haven't talked much about our personal lives. Like, it's kind of sad, actually. But... Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're kind of just like, builds, builds. We never really got to know each other that well, and this has been fun. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there's a couple of things that we just realized. Um, one, the back of the build kind of needs this tree that I put in earlier to be gone to be able to be finished. Oops. <laughs> uh, but, so um, I'm actually just going to remove that because I put it in with World Edit, so it's really easy to take away. But um, now we can finish up the back of it, and uh, I think that's probably going to be <clears throat> the nearing the end of this episode. A couple more things. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we, we appreciate every single one of you, and we hope you guys stay for more of our videos. Um, there's going to be maybe a couple more series coming out soon in the future uh keep an eye out for those uh as always and um any any last comments um i don't really think i have any other than that on the next episode i'm definitely going to want to tear down part of this wall right here and yeah. fix up this a bit yeah i really hate uh, that you don't even know my ocd is going <laughs> crazy but hey <laughs> All right. Well, uh, see you all. Uh, see you guys all in uh, the next video. Um, uh, be sure to check out uh, our series with Stacy Plays called Bookcraft on her channel. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll have links in the description for that. Uh, we do lots of builds on there, and I get to talk with her about them and such. It's re it's really fun. Yep. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the next video. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. So we were about to finish the recording, and then we saw this unfortunate <laughs> thing. Um, this is this is no, knowing how we're editing. This is probably going to be post video. Yeah. But <laughs> this is just too funny to not put into the video. Please um, donate to the Panda Fund. Every yes. dollar goes to helping this poor creature. Yes. <laughs> it knows so sad. it knows redstone, but doesn't know how to stay out of a fire. So. <laughs> uh, the sadness is real. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, bye, guys. Bye.